Hello everybody, welcome to another Illustrator CS6 tutorial on the New Pasta and YouTube channel. My name is Buddy, and today I'm going to do an explanation of color modes. And these are actually really important, because when you export your final project, if, it's, if you're having like a, a client who actually knows what they're talking about, or needs something in a certain way, you're going to need to know this. So what color modes do is they define the colors represented represented in the document. And you're going to select your color mode usually at the start of your project. There are two main color modes. And you might have heard of them before, but one is called RGB. And that's called red, green, and blue is what it stands for. And the other is CMYK, and that's cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. Now, color modes determine the number of colors and pretty much like the file size of an image. And what you're, what you're trying to set up in the beginning is for the output. So if you're using RGB, this is the main thing to remember. If you're using RGB, then you, your output is going to be something on a monitor be that your computer monitor or a television or a giant film screen, that's when you're going to be using RGB. And it could be for websites, um, little instructional videos that you made for kids, or anything that's basically on a monitor. The other thing is CMYK. And you're going to use CMYK when you're outputting to prints or presses. So think of it like a photograph or you're going to make like um, something that's going to be printed out for the company that needs to be high end. Um, anything that you would print out on like a pretty much like a high end printer, you're going to want to use CMYK. Let's see what else. Um, one of the things, a tip for you to, to think about when you're doing this is when, when you import sometimes images, they'll come into your, they'll come in as RGB or CMYK automatically. And sometimes Illustrator doesn't always get it right what you need to, what you need to uh, output it to. So for example, you take a, a picture with your camera, a high-end camera, and you want to use it for um, a printing press. So you're going to take a picture and you're going to have it, you're going to mess around with it and then you're going to print it on it, print it up and give it to your client. Well, the smartest course of action is to work in RGB throughout the whole thing and then convert it to CMYK at the end. That's just a little tip for you. So let's go into how to change our color modes. So it's pretty easy. First thing you probably want to do is save your document. And if you're starting from scratch, you want to set this up first. So you go to File, and then you go to Document Color Mode. And we've got CMYK Color or RGB Color. And you can switch between these two. Remember that RGB is for anything on a monitor, and CMYK is for anything that's going to come off of a printing press. So, um, you can change those you can change it throughout the uh th or throughout whenever you're working on the project but it's never a good idea to change it mid project because the way illustrator mixes the colors it's going to get all messed up and it's not going to be what you actually want it's not going to be the true colors that you want printed so the next thing that i wanted to go over was changing the color profile and what a color profile is, is it's the, it specifies the color usage in the document. And, and each color profile has a bunch of different colors within it. And most of the time, you're just going to leave this at what it is. But if you get somebody um, that is a stickler for it, you get a client that makes you use a certain profile, you got to know where to change this. So you go to edit. And you go to assign profile. You've got don't manage color, don't color manage this document. I've never used that before. Um, you've got working RGB and 
this is sRGB here. That's the one you're going to use most of the time. Or you can click down here in profile and you can cha change it to any of these he here that you uh, think you need to use. Sometimes Adobe RGB is used. Um, pretty much everything else I haven't really used. Um, if you're using like, if there's a printer that you're printing out of and it's an Epson printer and it uses this color profile to print out of and those are the only colors that it really has in the printer, then that's what you got to pick. So just keep that in mind. Another thing I want to show you is if you change your um, color mode. So now it is in CMYK color. Ready for printing. And you go to assign profile. You can see that now we've got different CMYK profiles instead of just the RGB profiles that we had last time. Just think of that when you're um, working on these. Some of these are used for printing on newspapers. Some of these are used for printing on billboards or photos or whatever. But the most of the time, we're going to use US web coded swap V2. That's the one you're going to use most of the time. And uh, that's all I wanted to show you about this. I'm going to change this back to the color mode I had before. Nothing's going to really mess up because all I've got is this text that I don't care about. I could just delete it. And now I can start over and work on my new project in RGB mode. So thanks a lot for listening. If you want some more information about it, I went over this in uh, way more detail in one of the Photoshop tutorials that I did about color modes and color profiles and things like that. So go ahead and check those out. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. Give a thumbs up if you understood what I was talking about. And be sure to subscribe to get more exciting tutorials about all sorts of stuff computer related on here. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Have a good one.